Hey guys, the Money Dude here again, and pretty much what I've come to show you today is, well, you've all been asking me ever since the release of the Cinematic Knife glitch video and the Periscope Gun glitch video, how exactly did I remove the HUD icons from the video itself? Well, that's what I've come to tell you, show you today. I guess this is going to be my first tutorial and my first tutorial on PC, so if you ever see anything wrong with this video, please, I please highly recommend you to leave a comment or PM me, tell me exactly what's wrong. What am I doing wrong when it comes to this tutorial stuff? Because I am 100% noobish at it. Alright, so, before you... Now, listen here. Before you continue on with the rest of the commentary, what I'm going to need you to ensure yourself is, number one, do you have a server? Friend server, your server, anyone's server, you want to go out in, in whatever community and ask them, can you, use a, can you use their server for a period of time while you do certain amounts of filming? Great. Now what you're going to need in this server, if you have never been a server admin, you're going to need um, the Hardcore Nomad preset, and that's pretty much it. That's all you need, because you need to take as much HUD icons off as you can, and a Nomad preset will basically remove that big ass map and make the compass small. So the compass will be small on the left hand side, the lower left hand side, let me say that. And if you if you want to go in there and tweak in the settings like no, no friendly fire, friendly fire on, you can do that if you want. You don't necessarily have to, but you can. All right. So if you've already ensured that you have all of this, let's move on with the next, ah, with the rest of this tutorial. Moving on. All right. Here is what I've gotten. Now keep in mind, Sony Vegas is a bit laggy, and I have this on preview full, so it looks the best quality for you guys. Naturally, what I would recommend if you're using Sony Vegas is you have it on preview half or preview quarter. If it's already on preview auto then that's okay you can keep it on preview auto but uh, just so you guys get the best quality of viewing quality I put it on preview full. Now what you're gonna want to have to do here you can see from this trimmer you don't have to put your you don't have to put a video into the trimmer. The trimmer is gonna is, isn't really gonna help you that much but you see this little HUD icon right here. Here is the HUD icon right here that I want removed. Can't remove it. I, I just can't. I can't. I can't go into the server and change this manually. So what you're gonna have to do is bring it into your editing software. And this is an example on Sony Vegas only. So if you have Sony Vegas, then this would be very valuable to you. What you're gonna want to have to do. I've already slid in the video. You have this here. You can either go right over here and click Event Pan Crop, or you can go over here and click Track Motion. Actually, no, no. Just go over to Pan Crop. All right. Clicking Event Pan Crop eventually it would load up on your screen the event pan crop and what you're going to want to have to do is once it loads uh, keep, an, keep an eye my PC is running a lot of a lot of applications at one time including this one so what you're going to want to do is you're going to have to zoom in as much as you possibly can or as least as you possibly can and remove as much until you have the blue HUD no longer visible. Once the blue HUD is no longer visible, stop it there because you know when you zoom into especially this 720 upscaled video, no I wasn't playing in 480p, I'm just saying rumors go around that Battlefield 3 on the consoles is 720 upscale. Pretty much zoom in as much as you possibly, at least to as much as you possibly can so you get the best quality because it sometimes tends to look not as well and here you go. Now, like I said, I'm running this on uh, preview full, so it may not turn out uh, line by line, especially since I got a lot of applications running around in the background. And Vegas does use up a lot of CPU power. So, guys, that's exactly how you do it. You just go to Event Pan Crop if you are using Sony Vegas, and you go in there and just clip it in. Just be sure to take out as much HUD as you possibly can. Now, I'm just going to let you look at this. Now, what you can do is uh, make a preset. This is called, let's just call this preset. Uh, Battlefield 3, edit, machinima. There. <laughs> Click save preset. There. It's always there. That way you can go to default one day. And look, it's like this. If you're like, oh shit, I forgot how to do this. I wasn't listening to the Zamboni dude. Oh, and I, I need to go back to that video. You don't have to go back to the video, although it would be appreciated if you come back and leave a like and watch it again. <laughs> but you can just save it as a preset and click it, and there. It's already set. The Battlefield 3 preset for an edit machinima. So, guys, I hope this tutorial really helped you guys out. And, yeah, be sure to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Edit went over.